Live from Columbus, Ohio, this is World of Music News with Colin Gossel and Kiffy Kokel, Jacob Moore, Sports, Matthew Baker, Weather, Lead Investigator, Rose Madonia, and our field reporter, Chelsea Mondesi. And now, tonight's broadcast. And so the husky made it home in time for a turkey dinner. Well, Kiffy, I guess uh, every dog has his day, eh? <laughs> right you are, Colin. I hate you. Breaking news out of Columbus. We're not going to be talking about tribute bands. But... As opposed to cover bands, which perform songs written by many different musical groups, tribute bands perform songs written by a single, well-established ensemble. One such tribute band, based out of Columbus, Ohio, goes by the name of The Rubber Souls. They perform music written by a rock and roll ensemble from the 60s called, and I'm quoting, Beatles. I believe it's actually the Beatles, Christopher. Right you are, Colin. Right I am, Kiffy. You sure are correct, Colin. I hate you. The Rubber Souls, an ensemble composed of college-age students from the OSU area, attracts a wide array of concertgoers who judge their performances based on a variety of factors, including, but not limited to, but including how closely they can recreate Beatles music. And how innovative a spin they can put on the established classics, whether there'll be free beer or none of these things at all. Chelsea, out to you. Okay, so we are here with the jazz pianists for the Rubber Souls. Uh, they are a tribute band for the Beatles. And I have a couple questions for you. Um, please tell me, why did you pick this genre of music? You mean like rock or like the Beatles in general? Let's go with the Beatles in general. Uh, well, we actually tried some other stuff first. We did some mm -hmm. like Elton John, some some jazzy stuff. You know, I'm a, I'm a jazz major at Ohio State, but we Ooh. just liked we liked the way that the crowd reacted, and they really liked the Beatles, and we like we like playing them. So awesome. Now I have a question. Do you think that your jazz studies at OSU has helped you in this band? For sure. We add a lot of jazzy stuff to the Beatles. We think they have a kind of a jazz underlay anyway. You know, and the in the chords and how it rolls and, and we just yeah yeah we, we add our, we add our own jazzy stuff I get some solos in there it's great okay so I'm here at Woodlands Tavern with the bartender so tell me do you normally listen to the bands that play here uh, occasionally I mean as you can see by all the people that are here right now um, I'm really busy mm -hmm. uh, but when I'm not super busy I like to take a listen yeah cool do you have a favorite genre of music that plays here most of it's rock and roll, but occasionally we'll get some like jazzy bluegrass stuff. That's pretty cool to listen to. Thanks so much for interviewing me. Yeah, of course. Back to you, boys. Thanks, Chelsea. And now to Jake with sports. Thanks, Kibby. I'm Jacob Moore, and here's what's happening in sports. The Rubber Souls are coming off a very, very hot streak right now after their two fabulous gigs at Ruby Tuesday at Woodlands Tavern. Let's take over the facts, shall we? For clothing, the Rubber Souls decided to dress in comfort. Let's go to the picture, shall we? As you can see, they're dressed in jeans, flannels, more comfortable gear. Next, the music. The Rubber Souls had the same instruments as the Beatles. Two guitars, a bass, and drums. Where they really decided to make a name for themselves is in their edition of a jazz pianist. Now, to the video. <laughs> Wow, wasn't that great? Rubber Souls are indeed a great tribute band because they cover only the Beatles. That's what makes them a tribute band and not a cover band. If they'd been a cover band, they would have done other artists such as Bon Jovi, Poison, Sting, etc., etc. Tribute bands are truly what keeps music alive and well today. Hopefully the Rubber Souls will be together for as long as the Beatles were, if not longer. For World of Music News, I'm Jacob Moore. Back to you, Colin. Thank you, Jake. That's right. I'm Colin Gossel. Now, over to Matthew Baker with the weather. Well, Colin and Kiffy, the overall atmosphere of the two venues of the tribute band, The Rubber Souls, were both dark and loud, as you would expect from a bar. The food was fairly cheap and quite delicious, and the drink specials were at a great price. At $2 for a bottle or a draft, it made for a great night for the two bar's customers. These characteristics that I've presented seem to describe most of the venues that tribute bands like the Rubber Souls perform at. I'm Matt Baker for World of Music News. Back to you, Colin and Kippy. 
Thanks, Matt. And now, folks, we're going to have a blast to the past with our lead investigator, Rose Madonia, who is interviewing a special guest, Beatles. Thanks, Kippy. A lot of people have heard their music, but few get a chance to sit down and chat with these far-out musical youngsters. The Beatles. I was lucky enough to get that chance. Guys, thank you for having me. This is totally groovy. Right, hi there, Rose. Good to be here. So, how did you guys meet? Well, it all started in 57 when uh, John brought me in, and uh, I introduced him to George, and uh, then, you know, ball just kept on rolling from there. That's pretty much it. Far out. What is it about your music that draws in an audience? Yeah, well, I just have to say, it's the catchy melodies, the high energy, you know, we just play really well together, and that's how it's worked out. Do you think there will ever be people who love your music so much that they'll dedicate entire concerts to it? Well, I certainly hope so. I think that's the goal of every band, is to have the music being played long after they're done playing it. And you know, I think, you know, Paul would agree with me that tribute bands, you know, we've listened to tributes of Elvis and Chuck Berry and things like that, and it's just a great way to keep music alive. Um, so yes, I do hope that one day that will happen with So hip! Well, there you have it, folks. The Beatles! Thanks, and back to you, Colin and Kippy. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You sure do have it now, folks. The Rubber Souls, a great band from the Columbus area, influenced by one of the greatest bands of all time, The Beatles. Kiffy, I hope that musicians like us someday have bands tributing us. I hope so, too. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a hard day's night And I've been working like a dog It's been a hard Thank you for watching tonight's broadcast. Remember, tribute bands tribute a single band while cover bands cover a wide variety of bands. This has been World of Music News, your educational source for everything.